Hi all, so I'm going to show you today how to do just these lovely simple pom pom punk pins. Aren't they cute? You can tie um, them with either colour, um, it doesn't really matter what you're tying them up with but they're really cute I think. And these could actually be changed around into all different colours for different fruits and things. But I think they look great as little pumpkins so I'm going to show you how to do them. So obviously you need a pom pom maker. Mine's just the basic clover pom-pom maker, but you can use any maker you like. You can even just use a cardboard ring, which is what I used when I grew up. Some green yarn, and some orange yarn. And obviously a good, decent pair of scissors. So, for the first thing we need to do is actually create this little stalk. So, just open up your pom-pom maker. And you're going to just do a few in here of your green, right in the middle of your thing. So you're just going to wrap a couple round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten wraps. Try to keep them as on top of each other as you possibly can because you just want that to be the stalk contained within one space when my camera decides to focus. There we go. It's having fun with the focus in it. But yeah, try to keep just a few ones and on top as much as possible. So as you saw, I've done 10 wraps, which is more than enough. You could go where a few less, but I like to do I am caution and do a little more. So once you've done them, you're going to move on to... Sorry, that's my diamond bead painting falling down. I don't know why. I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. So now we're just going to wrap the whole lot in orange. So just pop it on. I like to wrap up to the point of one side that's basically the same level as the green we just done, which obviously had tennish wraps on. So we're just going to wrap around. I'm sure you know how to use these things, but we're just going to wrap around the orange. A few rounds this side. Let's just get my wool out of the way a minute so I okay, keep it in the way. Just going to wrap that around, go all the way back over the green, and then onto this side. Again, you want to wrap so you can get this up to the same level as the green and then we'll go back over the whole lot. So just keep wrapping it around. It's really simple but it doesn't have to be super neat because um, we're going to be trimming it all down anyway so it doesn't really matter because we're not creating faces or anything with this one. We're just doing the stalk. Sure we covered the green. Okay, so now we're just going to keep wrapping until this one is full of orange. Doesn't take much. I like to really pack my yarn in because it makes a much fuller and firmer pump. Ah, uh, no, said pumpkin. Uh, much fuller and firmer pom pom. I mean, we are making a pumpkin, but I do it for all of my pom-poms. I really wrap loads around as much as you can possibly get on. If you like the floppier looking pom-poms, don't wrap so much. It's your choice. I just prefer a really solid looking pom-pom. So I'm just going to keep wrapping. It does take a lot to wrap his money on. You could do this with chunky yarn and you wouldn't wrap so much, but I like the look of the DK yarn. Um, this is DK weight yarn. I've done it with thinner yarn and they look fabulous. Um, so you could do that as well if you want to just wrap with thinner yarn, but bear in mind obviously it will take you longer to wrap. <laughs> 
So I know some people don't like watching this bit because they get bored and say it takes too long so feel free to skip forward. I don't know how long past so just put fast forward on and skip away. <laughs> That should probably do for now. I, I could do further and I have been known to do further but I think for all this purposes this will do the job. So close that down, move on to this side and we just literally stretch across and over. Really simple. I know some people cut and do the other side but there's no point it's going to be cut when you get to the end anyway so you might as well just keep going in one piece haven't you. And this one needs no patterning whatsoever, you're just going to fully coat it in the orange. Again, this could be a while, so probably a good chance that I'll just speed this section of the filming up. Depends if I remember when I edit. Try to make sure you keep everything reasonably even and have an even spread. So it doesn't matter if you have to jump around to fill in gaps, just make sure you have it reasonably even all the way around. A few more rows to try to match it up to the other side. A little fiddly because the bottom doesn't allow much space as the top. Just have to keep going. Should be almost done now. I think we're almost to what we were on the other side. Let's go through and make sure you've got nice even coverage everywhere. Cover up any parts that look like they might be a bit thin. Yeah, so close that up. Snip off the yarn. Um, Roughly around the middle there because that's where the rest of it's going to be cut. Now you're just going to cut down the middle just like you would any other pom com. If anyone's seen my original pom pom video, you'll see that I finally have a decent pair of scissors instead of taking 20 minutes to cut round because my scissors were so blunt in the last video. Okay, so there. Then we take the green or orange, whatever colour you fancy really. And we're just going to wrap it around. So you want to get it in between, really push it down, and then tie a knot there, just so one strand around. And really, really pull this as tight as you can. And then I wrap back up around here and tie it through again and again, pull as tight as you can. And I like to go for a third time around here. Pull it as tight as you can. And then do a second one on the top because then that creates a proper knot. As tight as you can. Snip off. So now we're just going to take them off. So open up your flaps. And then your little shake and there's the beginnings of your pom pom so now we're going to trim it so obviously we want to keep the green longer than the orange so this is 
a little fiddly, but what you want to do is grab up the green and push the orange down just so that you can cut around it straight away and have the longer green and the shorter orange. So just give it a little push down. Hold that out the way while you quickly trim the top of the orange really quite low down. You don't need to do all of it this low, just the top part because it really makes the green pop out. You may need to go round and do a couple bits more. So the green's popped out and now we're just going to trim the rest of the pom-pom down to make it firm. You don't have to, you can leave it floppy looking if you like. Um, but basically you just want to trim it to shape and make sure you've trimmed off any long bits, you know, just move it all around. You take out as much or as little as you like on this, it's a personal preference. I used to take only a little bit off, but I actually take more off nowadays because I actually find it looks better. So you actually end up chopping like half the pom-pom away, but it really gives a nice neat one, which is why I tend to work with the bigger pom-pom makers now, because then there's room to go down and not have to worry about having a tiny pom-pom, unless you're aiming for a tiny one, obviously. So you just try to create the shape you want. This is the fun part because you get to shape your pumpkin however you want. Every so often just give it a little shake and you can really see what shape's coming along and what shape you want to trim off any extra bits. I actually find trimming these really satisfying. Probably a little weird, but never mind. Okay. Again, just go around, check for any extra long bits. A little shake. Push all that out of the way. You'll find you'll end up with dust everywhere. But there we go, shape it around how you want it, but there is a little pumpkin. I'm going to trim just the very tops of the green, just a little, to give it a little shape. There, there's your pumpkin. As you're looking at it, you'll spot the little bits that you want to just tidy up. But as you can see, it looks rather fabulous. And put next to these ones, you see these were trimmed down even more, and they look even neater. So you can just keep trimming any size you like, just to make them look really neat. There, and there's your pumpkins. Don't they look nice? And you can hang them along on the walls, create some string and hang them as a bunting, whatever you fancy really. I just think they look really quite cute. So that's all for now and check back soon for more Halloween tutorials. Um, in fact I can show you a sneak peek of one, showing you how to do an eye, a monster's eye, it's bloodshot and green, but you can do them any colour you like. So. Chat back soon. Take care. Bye.